marks a major step after a fire on board a Navy ship more than two years ago. Thanks for joining us here at 6 a.m. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Irampour. Our top story today here, the trial begins for the sailor who's accused of starting that massive fire, the one that destroyed the USS Bonham Richard. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol, live outside Naval Base San Diego, with what we can expect to happen today. Dana Marie. Well, good morning, Eric and Netta. The 21 year old seaman recruit Ryan Mays is facing charges for arson, allegedly setting fire to the bottom of shard back in July 12th of 2020. Now he says that he's innocent. We get a better idea of his defense from his lawyer who represented him during preliminary hearings. It sounds as if you feel that seaman Mays here is actually a victim of larger forces at work here. I do. And I know he feels that way. Um, he came in to the Navy with high aspirations. And um, I can't imagine the stress. I'm not in his shoes, obviously, but I know this has been a very stressful uh, time for him and for his family. Um, and he definitely does feel like he's, he's a victim. Now, that was attorney Gary Barthol in an interview with Carla Chiquetto here, who says he's no longer representing Mays, but is still involved with his defense. He says the key to Mays' defense is actually the fact that the Navy admits a massive failure of leadership was to blame for the fire spreading out of control. Now, prosecutors have alleged that Mays was disgruntled with the Navy after dropping out of the Navy SEAL training program. Barthel says that the Navy is painting Mays as a disgruntled sailor as a smokescreen aimed at covering the Navy's lack of preparedness and failure to fight the fire. He says investigators found no evidence that an accelerant was used to start the fire and no fingerprints or DNA from Mays was ever found. Now, CBS 8 did reach out to the Navy for comments about the fire and its prosecution. In a statement, they told us charges were brought in response to evidence found during a criminal investigation into the fire. The Navy scrapped the bottom of shard at a cost of $1.2 billion. Now, May's trial at Naval Base San Diego here starts at 9 a.m. this morning, is expected to last at least two weeks. And if he faces up to life in prison if convicted. Now, if you'd like to read more on the timeline of how everything started and played out from the very beginning, CBSA.com is a great resource. We're going to be covering this heavily as this is a developing case.